Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. When people see me eat in my videos wild plants or wild berries, they often ask me if I'm not afraid of the fox tapeworm. My reply? How to recognize it? Who is a danger to become it? How he can be diagnosed? And how you can stay safe from the fox tapeworm you see in this video. The fox tapeworm is a parasite that you can get when you eat wood berries that being contaminated with the fox excrements. In good English, if a fox shit on wild berries and you eat them later, you have the fox tapeworm maybe too. The infection of the fox tapeworm isn't innocent, it can bring your life to the end. The tapeworm destroys the liver and at this time there isn't something that can heal you from the fox tapeworm. What the most people don't know is that you be can become the fox tapeworm not only from the foxes, um, you can become it from your cat or your dog too. The intermediate hosts are mostly rats or mouses. So if your dog or your cat like to eat a mouse, they can have the fox tapeworm too. And with their excrements, the fox tapeworm eggs come out of the body again. You can only become an infect of the fox tapeworm over your mouth. What kind of person is in danger to become the fox tapeworm? At first are people who live nearly to the wood in danger, or people who work in the wood. Someone who is often in the nature, in the woods, or someone like us that um, do bushcraft is in danger, because they are often in this um, dangerous area. Or if a fox lives near to your house, you are in danger too. Foxes don't live anymore only in the woods, they come in the cities too. The dangerous thing of the infection with the fox tapeworm is that you have all for many years no symptoms. Mostly the doctors find out accidentally that you have this infection and you know nothing. When you become the eggs of the fox tapeworm in your mouth, they move into your stomach. In your stomach, the gastric acid destroys the cover of the eggs. Then the worms slip out the eggs and eat them through the intestinal wall. In the most cases, they attack then the liver. In the next years they eat and eat and eat and eat your liver, piece for piece. If no doctor can diagnose the infection, you can be deaf in 5 till 10 years. After all these years the fox tapeworm is inside your belly, you have at least only two symptoms. One symptom is that the top of your belly hurts. This is the liver. Symptom 2 is that your skin becomes yellow. You've become a jaundice. An infection of the fox tapeworm can be diagnosed um, with a blood test or with an ultrasound. If you are diagnosed with the fox tapeworm, um, your doctor can make an operation, but this is only possible when the infection is not too long, not too far away, because um, at the end the liver is so destroyed that an operation is impossible. If you had an infection with the fox tapeworm, there is no medicine that can heal you completely. If no operation is possible, there is a medicine with this you can live for many many years, but it doesn't heal you completely. But important for us is to know how you can stay safe and become 
not an infection of the fox tapeworm. And how you can do this, I tell you now. If you had a dog or a cat, and they are often in the woods, or you know that they like to eat a mouse or a rat, you should to deworm these animals all six weeks or 12 weeks. This is very important. And they should not sleep in your bed and you should not kiss them all over their hairs. The transmission from the fox tape worm over your cat or your dog is extremely rare, but it's, it's possible. Is it dangerous to eat fruits or wild plants in the wood? Not directly. My rule is that all the berries that grow over a meter are safe. The fox don't shit in the air. Um, no, the, the fox like to shit on a cutting tree. This is um, a space he like to shit on it. I don't know um, how to say it in other words. So um, if the the plants grow over over a meter, I eat them and I feel safe. Here in Germany, the doctors find nobody that becomes an infection of the fox tapeworm because he is eating wild berries. If you want to be safe and you want to eat strawberries or any other fruits of the wood, you can heat them over 60 degrees and then the eggs will be dead. If you follow these simple rules, you will have so God will, no infection of the fox tapeworm. The infection sounds very hard and it's very dangerous, but at all the infection of a fox tapeworm is one of the rare infections here in Europe. So the risk is not too high. So stay safe and take care of yourself and I hope we see us again at the next video. Bye bye!